<laughs> it's Halloween here. Now I'm in the studio today and I will be doing a video lesson. But in the last lesson, I looked at hard versus soft window treatments, explain what they are, and tell you some truths about them, right? Because if you're going to choose a window treatment, you want to make an informed decision because they can be pretty pricey. And so I'm giving you some more information today that will help you to choose the right window treatment for your window. And now in this lesson, I want to look at five things that should influence your decision when you're making when you're trying to decide on a window treatment, right? Now, there are other factors that will influence your decision, but I think that these are the five top factors that you should consider when choosing your window treatment. The first one is the size of your window. Now, depending on the size of your window, your window treatment can be expensive or it can be less expensive for example if you're true if you have a huge window and you're choosing elaborate swags and jabots and panel and you have layered window treatments that will be mighty expensive okay if you have a smaller window and you want to do that layered effect it will be less expensive so you have to consider the size of your window when you're making your window treatments decision. The next thing that you need to consider is whether or not you want soft or hard window treatment. Now you can watch the video I uploaded about hard and soft window treatments, but basically your soft window treatments are made from fabric. Your hard window treatments are made from everything else except fabric, from bamboo, any type of wood, vinyl, um, metal, those are your hard window treatments. And there is one truth you need to know about hard window treatments is that they do not absorb noise or help to dampen the sound in a room. Your soft window treatment will, but your hard window treatment will never dampen the sound in your room. So if you have the window in a room where you're lit, looking to dampen the sound your best bet would not be hard window treatment it would be soft any type of soft window treatment so that is a very important factor to consider now your next factor will be how much privacy you need now so if you have your window and it's overlooking a lake or you're looking out at the mountains or if you're not even looking out at the mountains and the lakes and you're looking out at a garden in a country setting then you don't need that much privacy right but if your neighbor is right up against you then you will need some privacy so consider that when you're choosing your window treatment now number four is how much light do you want to diffuse into your space if you choose like a voil curtain then you know that you will get light coming through now for me i like voil curtains um voil or sheer curtains is the same thing during the spring and the summer months it just give that light and airy feel in the room however if you are somebody who works like a night shift if you are a doctor nurse a policeman a security guard or whatever if you work a night shift and you are looking to sleep in during the day because that's the only time you get to sleep then you may want to get window treatments that are lined and interlined and they most likely will be soft window treatments just so that you block out the um, light and so you don't get much light seeping through you don't even have to work at night you can just be a person who likes to sleep in in the morning which I don't mind doing sometimes during the 
the winter because the winters can be very hard for me but that's another story let's move on to the fifth the fifth factor that you need to consider is the budget now your budget will be influenced by the size of your window hard or soft window treatments and also how much privacy or how much light you need to let in and therefore you have to decide okay this is the budget that i have to spend on this window and so i am going to look at the other factors but they will all be considered within the limit of the budget if you have a champagne budget then by all means go ahead and do your elaborate treatment but remember it's going to be expensive because custom window treatments can be very pricey so bear in mind your budget if you have a bare budget you can still get something that is very fitting for your space that looks very good and especially if you can sew them yourself or you just get your local seamstress to help you out then that will help your budget so these are the top five factors that I need you to consider, guys, when you are deciding on what window treatment you want for your window in your specific space, in your specific decor or design. Guys, I hope these tips are helpful to you. If they are, please give a thumbs up, share with somebody. And if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please take a look at the channel. There's a lot of um, DIY lessons that will help you f to finish. Um, or there are a lot of lessons that will help you to finish those DIY projects. And consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Again, guys, thanks so much for supporting my channel. You take care now, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.